coolest things about the division is that it's given a space for these people who have brilliant, original, wonderful ideas, given them a space to actually develop them. It's mind blowing what the division has done. And I'm sure even though it seems to me like the pace and the budget has gone uh, exponentially higher than it was in the first four or five years, just getting the whole system going must have been a tremendous amount of work. So when I moved here, I was totally lost. I didn't know who to ask for help. Uh, I didn't know who to ask regarding EMRs and billing and the health system even in BC. And it was the division that helped me with a lot of that. You know, it ranges from things like the learning sessions that we have online to learn from our um, other specialist colleagues, uh, the services that we have uh, with the, the focus groups. Uh, and let's not forget that the COVID clinic was an initiative of the division. It wouldn't have happened uh, had the division not stepped up and the, the members of the division. So it's, it's really been, I think, at the heart of uh, what I'm grateful for to be practicing in here, to have such a um, such an empowered division. I'm most proud of um, in the in the division. Truly, most proud of is having brought back the sense of community and the sense of a common voice and common goals um, for family medicine. And I agree with you, John. I don't know where we would be um, at this point if if this hadn't actually come forward. I think we'd be very disjointed in a very unhappy workforce. I remember one of the board retreats we had where we were trying to brainstorm about, you know, what direction, what vision we had and, and their mission statements. We were starting to put um, post-it notes on the wall and, you know, there's so much different categories that we were trying to uh, uh, focus on. And then uh, the more I looked at it, the more I thought that, well, something like Pathways would do this and this and this, they all connected and we're all somehow connected to pathways is, which has become our sort of a doctor's lounge almost um, but we control it which is what was so important and we use it which is what got the health authorities attention and then the province and the rest is history i mean i've never been in a world without but i, I would suppose if there was not a division then those who know where to seek resources would still be able to find them and there will be you know uh, friendships and, and, and connections made but for those who are not for for, for newcomers or who people who weren't here or necessarily trained in the area, that becomes more difficult to do. And I think Division provides that hub for these connections to be made and um, uh, and where, where appropriate resources, because you know, there's obviously personnel to help with HR stuff, building a clinic and all, and all that. So um, yeah, it just formalizes that infrastructure.